a short one today and also a sound and video quality test. But today's video is about the coming of the Lord, the return, the second coming, the first coming of the Lord Jesus Christ was through the virgin birth of Mary when Jesus Christ, the Son of God, came to the world. And we are promised in the Holy Bible, the Word of God, of course, the foundation of the Christian faith is the return of the Lord. So the second coming of the Lord Jesus Christ, as referred to in the Gospels and, and in the Old Testament many a times, and also, of course, the book of Revelation and throughout the epistles. Now, I wanted just to share with you something that I just received a revelation from the Lord about the coming of the Lord. Now, the, com the, the, so the second coming, the return of Jesus Christ, where he will return to judge the unrighteous and to bless the righteous. We shall, the righteous shall be forever with the Lord. We shall enjoy the kingdom of God forever and ever. And in the Gospels, the Lord Jesus Christ likens the coming of the Lord, the day of the Lord, you know, that day that he will return uh, to the days of Noah. Now, the days of Noah, you want to know when is the Lord coming back? Well, the judgment of God upon the entire earth through the flood, destroying and drowning everybody in it. That was the judgment that was caused, that was the, that was the, the, the judgment of God upon the nations then. Jesus likens the second coming to that event now, what happened before that event? Noah, also known as a preacher of righteousness. Noah is a very upright man with the Lord. Noah was preaching righteousness and Noah was building the ark. And when he finished building the ark, he then had to get all the animals that he was told to get in there. And when he finished that, He closed, the, he went inside with his family, he closed and shut the door and the judgment came. The flood came. It had never rained before that day. Um, there was a dew. You can still sometimes early morning see a dew on the land. It's like a mist, a fog, and that was how the earth was being moist and watered so that harvest takes place. Um, but it had never rained before. Well, on that day, God didn't just make it rain. He actually opened the windows of the firmament. The firmament that separates, oh, we're going to get deep here now. The wind, the, 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 the firmament that spans above the earth, right? As you read in the book of Genesis, the firmament, and as King David called it in Psalms, the glory, uh, the, uh, the heaven declare his glory, and the firmament shows his handiwork. And look, that blue over there, It's not just the sky, it's the firmament, praise the Lord. And it's blue in color. And above that is water, because the firmament in the Bible, and we are Bible believers here, and the Bible says that the firmament separates the water from above the firmament from the waters of the earth. And above the firmament is the kingdom 
of heaven and to the side spanning all over the firmament is the water that sep that is separating the waters above from the waters below uh, not to go too deep into that right now but god has just put the firmament as my background here isn't that amazing because god is amazing god is wonderful praise the lord uh, don't switch off because I'm going to pray for you at the end. And I'm going to keep it long. Um, I think nowadays we need to preach short and sweet and powerful um, as uh, people are busy and there's a lot of information to process. So I will give you as much information as I can. It might be an overload, but you will digest it by the, and the Holy Spirit will help you. So when is the Lord coming back? Well, I tell you now that the ark... It shall be like in the days of Noah. So the ark, then, Noah's ark, it took about 100 years or so to build. It was built with the help of angels because he could not have done it without supernatural help. But I tell you that the ark then is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ now. The ark had to be built and filled Built and filled. Are you with me? And when it was built and filled, the judgment came. God opened the windows of heaven, the firmament, at several places. And the water from above the firmament poured like rain could never do. And flooded the entire earth in moments and only Noah and his family was saved. And everybody, uh, sorry, that's everybody, every human being in the ark. And of course, every animal in the ark. Yes, the Lord loves animals. So, <coughs> the ark then is the church of the Lord Jesus Christ today. And the Lord will return and the judgment of God will come. When the church of Jesus Christ is built and filled. That means when everybody that is supposed to be saved. That is supposed to have salvation. Is in the church. Is saved. And when you're saved you normally go in the church. So let's just assume that or whatever fellowship you're part of the body of Christ. The body of Christ is the, the, the network of believing Christians all, uh, all over the uh, earth in every nation. Together we form the body of Jesus Christ, the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. When the church is built in a spiritual sense and, the, and, and filled, built and filled, now, we are still building, but we are very much still filling. And filling is evangelism, is the Great Commission, as explained in the Gospel. It is the filling that matters. We must preach the Gospel, Matthew 24, verse 14 that goes that talks about the end time the lord jesus explains what will happen and don't you ever worry about anything because if you are in christ if you are born again believer if you have embraced what jesus christ did on the cross he did the complete work of jesus christ on the cross and the resurrection if you believe and embrace that and turn away from sin, that is a repent. A repent is asking for forgiveness, having remorse about your sin, because God is holy, <clears throat> and God will forgive sin, but you gotta, rem you gotta show remorse of sin, and turn away from sin. Go and sin no more. And um, then you embrace what the Lord did on the cross, because what he did on the cross was to take the judgment of sin, which is death, upon himself so he died our death so that we can live and never die because death to the body is an immediate presence with the lord 
in your real self, your soul. We are all, we have a soul and the soul is everlasting. So we must preach and share the gospel. We must preach and share this wonderful, beautiful and urgent pressing message of the infall, inf uh, this, this inf un unfathomable love, this sacrificial love of the Father, the Lord Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit. Because when we do that, it gets hurt. When it gets hurt, it gets believed. And when it gets believed, there will be repentance. And then there will be salvation. And that's all that matters to the Lord. Everything else is nice, but that's what matters. That's what matters. Only that is what matters. Praise God. Hallelujah. Well, I hope you learned something today. And if you are like this, then please just hit that like button. If you are new to this channel, I'll be here regularly from different locations as I do preach the gospel as an evangelist as much as I can, as much as and, and increasingly so, especially with the help of those that want to support. Um, going to Africa, to the nations the Lord laid on my heart and share this wonderful gospel message in a simple and clear with clarity explaining the kingdom of God the love of God the gospel of Jesus Christ so that people get saved remember if you say it if you share it if you preach it or share it sit down with somebody it will go in when it goes in they hear it then they will be and they repent then they will sorry then they believe and then they repent and then they get salvation praise God that's what it's all about. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. It's fantastic. And um, thank you so much, everybody, uh, for hitting that like button. And because it will um, give the, um, it will cause the video to, 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 to be seen by more people. And uh, subscribe, as I will be here often with a short message full of revelation from the Word of God from Genesis 1 to the whole, to the end of the book of Revelation. And I definitely do teach a lot on the end times. But I wanted you to know that we are building and filling and then the Lord returns. So continue to support so that we continue to fill the Lord's church, so that we continue to reach those that need to be saved so that the Lord can return. Well, be blessed. And if you have a prayer request, always don't put it in the comment because then everybody can see it. You can just send an email. You can just send an email. And the website, shortcut to the website is pastorvincent.com, pastorvincent.com. And um, you can see everything on there. Um, link everything is on there this is it's a world of information there uh, all there to help you to support you to 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 bless you so be blessed and i look forward to see you on the next video bye for now shalom